Senator Fisher. Thank you, Madam Chair. Ms. Taylor, it was nice to meet with you yesterday, and I um, appreciated the conversation we had about expanding trade, getting into trade agreements, how important uh, the export market is to American agriculture. We discussed the Indo-Pacific re uh, region. We also talked about um, issues that affect Nebraska corn growers, uh, specifically to Mexico. And when you look at the amount of white corn that Nebraska exports, it's half of the white corn in the United States. Mexico's been a top destination for Nebraska's uh, corn, including white corn. But I have uh, deep concerns over Mexico's policy on ag biotechnology. Uh, they are set to ban biotech corn as soon as January 2024, and this policy is definitely out of step with the commitments that were put in the USMCA. If left unaddressed, these policies and processes that are related to ag biotech will harm economies on both sides of the U.S.-Mexican border. We've heard... Um, there have been some good conversations with the Mexican officials, but we haven't seen any actions from that. So I would ask you, if confirmed, will you work with your USTR counterparts to enforce the USMCA's biotechnology provisions, and if necessary, to advocate for the United States to take enforcement action? Uh, thank you, Senator Fisher, and I also enjoyed our conversation yesterday, so thank you for the time. Um, I think um, the underlying point here is about uh, using uh, science um, to make informed regulatory decisions. Um, that is how we do it in the United States. That is our expectation of our trading partners around the world. And should I be confirmed, um, I think this is an issue I would like to look in further, uh, certainly engage within the administration um, and engage with counterparts in Mexico on this important topic. Um, as I mentioned uh, earlier, we face huge global challenges coming at us as we're trying to increase production uh, to feed a gr growing uh, world population with some pretty big challenges that are impacting production today. But if um, our trade agreements are, aren't being met, if provisions are being violated, you know, and that is specific to the USMCA, um, conversations are good. I hope we can continue to have conversations with the Mexican government, but they're they have, um, they have duties, they have responsibilities to those agreements. Uh, will you um, push them and our administration to make sure that they meet them? So, Senator, I think fundamentally enforcement of the existing, uh, of commitments that are made to U.S. producers, to the U.S., is critical um, to uh, trade policy that works for our farmers. Uh, this is an issue in particular uh, with Mexico on biotechnology of corn that I want to look into further uh, should I have the privilege to be confirmed, and I certainly am committed to working with you in your office on this question. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Esteban, um, BSE is more commonly known as mad cow disease, and it can certainly upend any domestic markets and also uh, cause disruptions in our international trade when it's found in a country's beef supply. The World Organization for Animal Health requires any BSE infections to be reported within 24 hours, but last June, when we saw atypical BSE uh, found in two Brazil beef packing plants, uh, Brazil didn't report that until September. After it was finally reported, there were several industry groups that called on the USDA to halt imports from Brazil from, for their beef into the United States until the agency had conducted their own assessment of Brazil's processes that were used to uh, assure food safety. Are you aware, sir, of any uh, efforts by the USDA to conduct their own assessment of Brazil's food safety standards? Uh, Senator, thank you for that question. Uh, I'm very familiar with BSC. I've actually uh, seen cases of BSC, and so I'm, I know what it can cause and the damage it can cause to industry. 
I'm not familiar, or I cannot answer specifically at this point, uh, the question of whether we're doing some active surveillance. I would, obviously, if I were to be confirmed, I would look at the staff that's working on this and ask that specific question. Uh, I do know, and I can share with you, that we have a very, very unique equivalency system established for, for importing feet, and that requires for us to, to do audits on-site of the product that we import from. And so we follow all those regulations and rules before we actually allow uh, imported food into this country. Um, that's what I can say for now. If, if, and I would look further, if I were to be confirmed, I would uh, follow up with your staff and look further into that detail. Yeah, that, that would be great because when we're, when we're dealing with other countries who aren't, who aren't following the rules and you are, you're looking at a situation with possible um, BSE coming into the United States, uh, think of the uh, hardship on producers, but also the huge economic impact on, on the United States economy if we would have to shut down. So thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Senator Tuberville. 